remember when downloading anything took forever, but nowadays I can download an entire season of a TV show in less than an hour. Now that downloading is as easy as it is, I find that I drastically underestimate the amount of hard drive space I need in a computer. And as a result, I find that I'm always needing to upgrade my hard drive. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 13-inch unibody MacBook Pro. This video is a great overview of the process, but of course, as always, you'll want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions and the repair guide on our site when you're replacing your hard drive. The version that I'm working on is a mid-2011 version, and while the process is really similar in previous iterations, I'd still recommend following the repair guide for your specific computer when you're doing your repair. That all being said, I'm going to get started by getting all of my parts and tools together. For this repair, you're going to need a plastic spudger, a Phillips 00 screwdriver, and a T6 Torx driver, both of which I got from our 54-piece bit driver kit. And of course, you're going to need a replacement hard drive or a hard drive upgrade kit. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the Phillips screws that are holding the lower case in place. And as soon as those screws are out, the lower case should just pop right off. Okay, so right away, we can see the hard drive in the bracket that's holding it in place, but before we touch that, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery from the logic board. The last thing we want is residual electricity just kind of floating around in here. So, use your plastic spudger and kind of gently pry up one side and then the other like you're walking the connector out of the socket. Now that that's done, we can start on the hard drive. The screws in the hard drive bracket are retaining screws, so don't bother trying to get them all the way out. Once they're loose enough, the bracket should just lift right out. With the bracket out, the hard drive should lift out pretty easily, but it's still connected via the hard drive cable. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that. And you might think that because it's free, we're all done. But actually, we've got to transfer these four hard drive retaining posts to our new hard drive. And you can remove them with your T6 Torx driver. All that's left for me to do is install my new hard drive and reassemble my computer. If you have any questions about getting the data from your old hard drive to your new hard drive, we made a video for you that covers the process and we will link to it right there. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Pro Repair Guide on our site. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com ifixit. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.